Uh, g'day all. Just going to do a brake light switch today on the AUV. I can, now I've already unclipped the clip so I can show you how it unclips. This part here, you just pull that back. I take that connection there off. I mean, and now to get to this switch here, I've had this off before and pulled it apart once before. So I'll, I'll finish this video of pulling it apart again. I pulled it apart, cleaned up all the contacts, put it back on and she worked, but not for long. Probably got about three months out of it, so kind of like gets you out of trouble uh, if you were to pull it apart and clean it up. But um, it is something that didn't last forever. Okay, so we've got the there's a pin on the other side that needs to come out. You see that pin there? It's a it's a bit tricky, but first you got to pull that pin out, and then um, you got to work your way to get the switch out. And I'll show you that. I'll get it out, and I can show you it's better. Probably be a little bit easier if I was to take the driver's seat out so I had a bit more room to work around. Anyway, I'll get into it. Okay, so pushing from the bottom I found easier just then. I'm pretty sure I took it out with the long nose pliers from the top before last time, but anyway, it is what it is. Talking about this, it's a bit tricky. I'm gonna make it like that so that's off. So let's loop around first, and then you gotta pull this part. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just talking, not watching where the camera is. Okay, so you got that part there that's open, so that will slide over first. And you gotta try and kind of pull this back a little bit to push over the last bit. So hopefully as I was taking it off, you had a good footage there to see that. I'm going to see if the chair wasn't in my way, because it's pushing hard against my back. If the chair wasn't in my way, it was just a, bit, a little bit easier. This one didn't want to swing around like the... There we go. Put that back there. And push that sleeve in between. Like that. I know you can't see that. This one I can show you. So you got the sleeve going in the middle, like that there. So not separate. You got to push up against it like that. So when that switch goes on, it goes around that, and the sleeve's in the middle. So we'll put this back on. Make sure the sleeve's in the middle. slides on properly as long as you know that sleeve there it's not such a hard job I remember the first time I did this I mucked around for ages so I mustn't have noticed that sleeve being like that okay it's in place connection back on now I just need to test my brake lights they're working now Okay, so that's the switch back in, connection back on. All happy days now. It didn't take that long. Uh, it took me a lot longer the first time I did it, but it was the first time I did it and I was, I was only in there for repair. So I'm going to pull this apart now just to show you. That's a genuine one, the one I put in the market one. I'll pull this apart and I'll show you what to expect on the inside if uh, just to get yourself out of trouble for Red J purposes when I get the switch going again and order a switch. Um, I know you have to do the job twice, but you order a switch and just get this one working temporarily.
I'm not going to be putting this back together so I wasn't really careful about how I pulled it apart like I did the first time but see that's just a standard point switch there's nothing real special about it all I did before was clean that up put it back in it worked and then after a while it was about three months it stopped working so I've replaced the switch now I could have taken it apart again perhaps maybe done a better job at cleaning it this time but it is what it is that's going in the bin thanks for watching hopefully that was helpful till next time cheers guys